<laughs> so I wrote down a few actually. There's some honorable mentions of uh, animals that served, and there were some funny ones throughout God history. Bless them. Not necessarily funny. With anything, you get too far back in history, there's a dark side to all of it. So uh, you yeah. know how elephants used to be used in war? Yeah. Like in, uh, Shout like, out Hannibal. Hannibal. What's up, Hannibal? Yeah, what's up, Second Punic War? Where are my dogs? Dude, where that my was dogs wild. Are? But he what? used uh, elephants, and what it turned out is elephants are very scared of pigs squealing. So, uh, oh, what a so weird they, little bugaboo! Yeah. yeah, so they utilized what they called incendiary pigs, is they would, uh, Holy shit. <laughs> they would, they would set them on fire and let them loose around elephants, so they would be guaranteed to squeal, and then the elephant would freak out and kill a ton of people on its own side. So that's a little fun fact. Incendiary pig. The pigs are like, if you just give me a little poke in the ribs, yeah. I'll fucking I'll yeah. swim real good. There's a, <laughs> you don't have to light me on the fire. There's a battlefield. I'm already scared. And, and I will <laughs> me at an elephant. I will squeal. I think the sound of guns would probably do it pretty well. <laughs> yeah. You know? These were, this was a uh, sword time. We can't take any chances. You yeah. know? The Punic Wars were sword time. Oh, so that man. was like a couple, 2,000 two years ago, something like that. Yeah. But... Do you and think then, they went like the victors, like when they were walking through this the battle? This reminds me a lot of that. Afterwards, you know, that was fire. fucking good eating, though. Those pigs they set on fire. Wow. I bet like the the lone the last survivors of that battle they were walking through. Oh, they're wow, like, wow. ooh, what, what is that good. aroma? Wow. My Something God, smells nice. It sounds yeah. like crispy uh, skin and uh, juicy meat under there. <laughs> Possibly. I don't, I don't like how you worded meat. that. I love the way I worded it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this place, this war field smells a lot like a Denny. So there's another uh, another dark one. Is uh, this was used in World War One and Two a lot as uh, anti tank dogs. Oh, oh, they're good dogs. Leave the dogs out of war. Well, so this fall from Disney, they spent a lot of time training them at first to, because even during war times, people were like, we don't want to kill dogs. To go like sneak in and drop off like timed things and remote detonated stuff. <laughs> and that didn't work out as well as they wanted, so they ended up dropping off with like pressure plates, and so they'd run up to tanks and then blow them up. So anti-tank dogs, you don't name those. Well, at least the they dogs got... are definitely anti-tank after a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least they got their seventy-two dog virgins in heaven. You know, yeah. that's what yeah. I like to think. All the dogs, of those were, brave suicide were bombers. They were Muslim dogs. Those Where brave... were those dogs at Tiananmen Square? You know what I mean? <laughs> But uh, then there's a lot of the big history, like cats on Navy ships. They keep on to like handle rodents and stuff. A lot of them had names, but it was similar stories the entire time. Those aren't heroes, though. Those are just cats. They're just cats. They were doing, doing cat, cat stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all about doing your part, you know. And yeah. then there was another. There was another famous one, a uh, Turpitz the pig. Where right, you don't have to tell me about turpits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he was. Story. I think we he have, was. I think we're gonna have him on the show next week. <laughs> well, what for the end of the story. <laughs> And so he was another one, uh, one of, I think it was World War II, the German side, where uh, he was on a ship that was sunk, and everyone abandoned it, and he was the last one to abandon the ship, and was picked up by another vessel, just like a pig swimming in the ocean, but because he was, uh, they gave him an iron cross, sarcastically, for showing bravery when everyone else abandoned the ship, he refused to. Yeah. That makes him the captain of the ship, right? He's the captain of the ship. But then about six months later, they sold him for meat. Well, you know, we all fall so. on hard times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Could someone bring our war hero out yeah. here. Yeah. All, all things considered, Wojtek probably had the best outcome. Yeah, Wojtek, you know, he, he, he was beloved by everyone. By everyone. Rightly so. 